it goes up. If you're standing up for a position that you're not gonna be assisting the doctor, then you have to adjust the level according to the waist level of the user. You guys with me? All right, so my doctor's this tall, so I'm gonna put it all the way to his butt. Here you go, bro. Okay. So you know exactly you have to adjust, you have to do your doctor. Okay, there you go. I am assisting, so it has to be closer to me. Not away from me, because every time you're away from you, you're gonna cross over. So no crossing over on a self field. So it's always close to me. Now, I am setting up a laceration tray because the doctor is gonna perform some laceration procedure. Here's a tray, you know. This is the name of the supplies. Uh, Hayden, can you pick up some vodka for me, please? Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Remove it from this. There. You want to keep your plastic, and there is the label of the supplies. You want to keep this because you're going to compare whether or not the manufacturer provided you all the names of the instruments in this um, set. So now, remember we folded it with the tongue out? Mm -hmm. So if you're unwrapping it yourself, if you're unwrapping it, you're going to place the supply with the tongue close to your heart. I lay it in the center. Guess with me? Mm -hmm. This is the reason why you wrap it the way earlier, the instrument. So, first thing, you unfold the tongue without touching inner part away from you. That's the first fold, yeah? Mm -hmm. Second unfold, remember the side, there's a fold back. That's the reason why you stick your finger under the fold and give it a pull to break that seal, yeah? Third, you do the same thing on the opposite side. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you don't touch the inner part of the tray. Yes? And remember the first fold you made? Oh, we're just reversing and going back, tracking our what? Now it's exposed. That is sterile. That is actually can be used for surgery right now, and that is actually a good laceration tray. Can I touch this with my bare hand? No. 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 So what should I do? Put my what kind of gloves? Sterile gloves. Sterile gloves on. So I'm going to put on my sterile gloves on. Do I have a sterile gloves on for me, please? Yeah? Oh, perfect. Thank you, my dear. You deserve a star. Okay. So I can attach, I'm going to arrange that supply, but I can attach it with my bare hands. So obviously, I'm going to put this letter. The doctor is screaming. He's in a hurry. He needs to go to the bathroom. Yeah, no, well, tell him. <laughs> It's an emergency procedure, so I have to do it fast, yeah? Perfect. Doc, give me 10 minutes, okay? Alrighty. Now remember, the sterile field is, just to make sure you understand, it's in your test. One inch below the edges of your bayo <laughs> tray, that is considered sterile. Over that, that's non-sterile. That doesn't mean? Mm -hmm. That's in your test, right? Yeah. One in. I got leaked a couple times to access the border. Uh, yeah. So remember that. What's the sterile part of this? Anything beyond that is non-sterile. So I'm going to arrange. This is my fenestrated drape. This is our my um, sterile towels. This is the medication cup. This is my syringe, needles. There are my sponges. We have four by four and one by one or two by two sponges. Then I have my hemostat, needle holder, scissors, iris scissors, and thumb for set. It comes in the set, so there's four different ones. And basically, because you don't need this, you put them in the back table or your corner. That's your serving tray, serving table, yeah? I'm gonna arrange this based on, in the order of use. So which one goes in first? Because I'm assisting, it has to be closer to me, or it has, the, the order of use would be the doctor. If I'm assisting the doctor, I have to give it to him. 
if the doctor is doing it himself, it has to be closer to him. Does that make sense? The order of the instruments. So this is the fenestrated drape. Can you put down the fenestrated drape? The fenestrated drape is a drape that has a hole in the middle. Yes. And I'll show you in a minute. Fenestrated drape goes the, as the last drape at the bottom. So it goes, yeah, at the bottom of the pile. Then these are my two um, sterile drapes. And I'm going to have Hayden as my patient here in a minute. The medication cup, this is for the lidocaine or anesthetics. Then I have the syringe for the doctor to draw up the medication. And so normally what you'll do is you will actually, this glove is so big for me. See, notice that if you have very big gloves, it'll be difficult for you to do your job. Okay, now. Can you open it for me, please? I know it's done. I know it's just sterile. You're my patient. I'm sorry. You open it for me. That's for you. You're going to get infected yourself. Can I yourself. open it up there? Because I might think you're like, Do you have a sterile field? Can you put this on? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's say, okay. Open this one. <laughs> Actually, part of this is applying sterile supplies to the sterile field. You open the packet, and then you're going to say, and then at the center of the tray, drop it at the center. Do the same thing for me without touching. Make sure you don't touch my tray. Okay. One more. Did I give you one more? So open the packet and apply. That's how you do it. Common sense, right? Okay. Now she can see it. Common sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's my tray? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Now I have my medication cup. This is for the medication. This is the syringe. So syringe and needles go together, right? So I'm putting them to the side. And in the procedure, which one goes in first? Which one would the doctor use first? What do you think? I'm going to take the plastic off. Because the lesser, the better. Less is more, yeah? So first thing, if the doctor is performing a procedure, what they'll need first is what? The scissors and the forcep, yeah? We need to have a, um, actually we need to have the blade here, but pretend there's a blade. You know, we have scalpels. And this one is the needle holder, so it'll be the last. You will learn this later on. And this is to stop the bleeding or for dissection, dissecting the skin, the tissues, to open up the little skin layers. This is what they used to call the curved hemostat. And this is the iris scissors. And this is your thumb forceps. So this is when either to cut the skin or to cut the suture. So I can put it here, the second from the last. This is the last one, second, forcep. There we go. Beautiful, like a dinner table, yeah? All right, so it's set up. now. I think we have one that with pictures that I labeled. Do you still have the pictures? Mm -hmm. Is there pictures? Okay. Alrighty. So that is your laceration tray. Now, I'm gonna have her as my patient and I'll show you how to apply the later on in the surgical procedure. But it, it's not this, the, this is not the um, week for that. Surgical. I'm a patient right now. Yeah. <laughs> so. I want to make sure that you understand how to unfold and the reason why you did. Right now, let's pretend that your tray there, you're setting up a minor surgery tray or a salation set tray. So using your stuff, using your own uh, folded practice instrument, I want you guys to practice from cleaning, pretending, simulating how to clean your tray all the way to the end and then opening like what I did. You follow what I did, right? And exposing your supplies that you have. Make sense?